Hello there, Van Again Addicts. This is Ken Wilford at Van Again, and we are finally going to be doing our secondary battery install video today. People have been bugging me about it for weeks since we got back from Florida. I will tell you exactly why it hasn't been getting done. Number one, we've been waiting on different parts to show up. They have been seemingly taking forever to get here. Number two, I would really love to do this on a day that is nice and sunny so that we could do our solar thing and everything could be fine and dandy. Uh, and today it started out nice and sunny. We got all the stuff out. We got it in the van. We're getting ready to start messing with stuff and now it's raining. So, I mean, this is what's been happening for the last three weeks. Uh, the other day I saw Noah's Ark float by and I'm about ready to jump, jump on because it has been raining like tropical rainforest here in New Jersey uh, except for the part about warmth and like monkeys that's the part that's missing so let me kind of give you a look at what's going on here we've got our 50 amp hour battery we that completely will go out of focus every two seconds we've got our uh, special fancy battery meter that I got here that's uh, we can mount here somewhere in the van it tells you how much voltage you have, it tells you what percentage you got, and it's got this nice little picture of a battery, just in case you're not smart enough to know what 100% means. Uh, so, you know, that'll be good. It just, you know, it looks nice. I mean, you see that on your phone, so I guess we have to see it in otherwise. So that's what's happening. We've got this thing. We've got all kinds of other stuff here because we're going to try to do this right. You know, as I've said in the past, uh, we have this battery on our website for sale right now, but the big problem is um, installing it into a Vanagon without the proper charger to keep it charged and maintained. I mean, the alternator of the car is going to have a hard time. Really, the main reason that I've seen or found or whatever really has to do with the fact that you have this uh, lead acid battery here okay it's made to have a, a surface charge to have the cold cranking amps you need to start the car and run the computer and other things in the car the ECU um, and that battery is charged a certain way that's what the alternator is designed for to do like an initial super rush of current to charge this battery up quickly and get you out of here get you on the road Okay, the problem is that's not how you charge this battery. So if you just hook, you know, a deep cycle lithium battery into the van and hook it up the way that we've shown in our other video with the Go Westy secondary battery kit, or you make your own battery kit with an isolator or something, um, what's going to happen is your main battery is going to get charged like normal, and then this lithium battery is going to never really come up to its full potential its lifespan is going to be drastically reduced and you're going to say i spent a lot of money on this battery and now it's pretty much not worth it because it's crap okay so uh to avoid that we are coming up with this nice charger we have here this is a uh, red arc okay it's made in australia bcdc 12 25d okay this is a 25 amp charger and it takes the thing from the alternator and actually you hook it into your starting battery to get like a nice 12 volt um or actually 13 volt charging thing and it takes that and it turns it into it basically feeds the lithium battery in an optimal way so that as it's charging it it is helping it to last as long as it can possibly last. Uh, the other nice part about this charger is the fact that it has a solar input into it. So you can kind of see, uh, if I get a little closer, you can see these different charge modes. You've got solar, vehicle, and stage, okay? And what it does, it actually, if you have a solar panel hooked into the system, um, it will prefer that over the alternator, okay, as far as your charging or the or the battery. And it will also use both simultaneously. So 
it can basically give you the full amount of power from the uh, solar panel and the car at the same time okay and try to recharge your battery as fast as possible this is a 50 amp hour battery this is a 25 amp charger uh, so what's supposed to happen is if this charger is allowed to put out its full amount of charge it should be able to recharge this battery in about two hours okay out of vehicle driving um, so that's that would be something that you could do you know if you were on a trip somewhere and you camped overnight somewhere I mean you would use this battery use it to power your lights use it to power your computer and that whatever else you want to power and then the next day you drive a couple hours to your next spot and guess what your battery is fully recharged again um, if you're camping out there you have a solar panel on the roof as well or maybe two and that's helping recharge things if you're sitting uh, you go hiking leave your van alone for uh, probably most of the day it will recharge your battery not fully but to some degree then you could run it for a little while just sit there and let it idle or drive to this drive to a restaurant have dinner come back that will also help replenish it so you know these are all things that we're going to kind of do in the next few days hopefully um, as weather permits get out here put this thing in see what it's going to be like see what it's going to do in real world scenario and we're going to bring you guys along uh, as i said this battery is for sale on our site the charger's for sale we're going to have a little kit that you can also buy to install this and get it uh, in your van without with like minimum hassle so that is the plan we're moving into the future lead acid batteries is the is a hundred years old okay actually older than that um, I think I remember that Ferdinand Porsche his first project he worked on that got him a claim was a battery powered electric powered um, giant howitzer that he built for the German military and I forget if it had 10 wheels or something on it each one was independently powered by an electrical motor uh, and this was something that was in 1890s okay so you're like what 1890s yes electric powered vehicles are super old the electric battery lead acid battery is super old it has remained very much the same all these years but this new battery this lithium battery this is what's coming okay and right now you can get some really good use out of it i believe for your camping situations and so that's what we're going to talk about so i guess that's it for this video guys keep stay tuned here make sure you like subscribe share and click that little notification key so that whenever we make a new video about this as we go along you'll get to see that all right that's all for right now hope you get more smiles per gallon and have a great one